We're about to go on a cookie caper. We're going to check out some big budget cookies. Pokemane's cookies. Welcome, friends. We are going to talk about a cookie crisis, a cookie crunch, a cookie conundrum here at Our Views Will Kill You. I am the man you may know as Ian. We occupy a strange place in hell. That's right. Um, for those of you familiar with the channel, we seem to occupy a place where people are not terminally on the internet. So we're here to just give you some amusing stories and some fun things that go on. So when I talk about Pokemane, you're all going to ask me, what exactly is a Pokemane? That's a good question, folks. I will do my best to explain it to you because I'm not entirely sure I know what a Pokemane is. So from what I can gather, Pokemane, who I've never watched before, is a um, what you would call a thought, I guess? Maybe, maybe she's a simp machine. I'm going to call her a simp machine. Apparently, she's a YouTuber. Well, I let's call her mostly a Twitch streamer. She hasn't gone the, the route of like hot tub uh, streaming or anything like that. But I think she's still kind of just like a thought. Like, oh, look at me. Maybe I'll... Here, and I'll show you a picture here that might help define things. She's like, oh, look, maybe I'll just pop out of my top and you won't even notice it. It's, you're never even going to notice. So, you know, she has an expiration stamp on her, but... Her expiration stamp isn't going to go down because she is a capitalist because she making cookies now. And here's why people think her cookies are outrageous. So um, I think she's got like 6.6 million subscribers on YouTube and, you know, stuff going on. She's 27-year-old, Twitcher, thought extraordinary, you know. People don't like her, but I don't blame her. The only thing I blame her for is uh, have a bad taste and thinking that cookies would be her next avenue of like success. So there's this whole cookie thing that's going on here, and I'm going to attempt to decode it. So, and there's a lot of other videos that are pretty good on this that you might find interesting. Um... Uh, let's see here. Yeah, there's like a whole bunch of things. Uh, I know It's a Gundam has a video and some other guys. So if you want like a real super like breakdown, but I just thought this was funny because she's got the cookies and she's trying to show off the cookies. So here she says she's been two years in the making of how to make some damn cookies and how it stacks up against other snacks. And she says something about like, Oh my gosh, I, I have a new company, and it's called Mina. Now, I may be pr mispronouncing that, but for some reason, she's trying to sell miners. And I'm, I'm, I'm uh, confused. Oh, and she added some uh, vitamin D to it. They're called Midnight Mini Cookies. Now, that might sound familiar to you, and we might get back to that, but basically, if you go into your local Costco... Pretty sure you're going to find some uh, Midnight Mini Cookies. And I don't know that they're super healthy for you. But minor, minor snacks. They're just minor snacks. We're just looking at minors. And if you think about it, you know, a lot of people pay her a lot of money. A lot of, uh, what you, you know, what you would call simps. And uh, she's, trying to, she's trying to bleed her simps dry. And we'll get to that too because she, she says something about bleeding her simps dry uh but she works with this lady darcy mackin who they came, they got together and came up with a popular it was some sort of thing and, and this is right along with ksi logopaul mr beast other internet personalities that nobody would recognize on the street like normal human beings but um internet people will know who they are so again this is all strictly internet people so here she is she's People are starting to accuse her of, oh, they're just drop shipping another brand. So they just stuck her name on it. And, uh, you know, I mean, she keeps eating the things. I, I, she's going to lose her audience. So maybe she'd stay off the cookies. Two year passion project. Uh huh. Nobody believes her. 
And if you compare the ingredients to the uh, other cookies, they're exactly the same except one thing. They added vitamin D. Maybe that's like something where they need to get it get it different. Uh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, they're saying they're called Tootsie's Midnight Mini Cookies. And then Pokemane has to do some damage control on her cookies because... Oh my God, my cookies might be another cookie. Who's the other cookie? She's been trying copycat cookies. <laughs> this is so funny. The biggest point isn't so much that she's selling cookies either. It's the it's the spirit of the campaign where she's selling overpriced cookies. So you can buy the toasty cookies for $10. She's charging $28. Baby, you ain't going to make nothing. Like, you might make a little bit of money up front, but you're not going to make money in the long run because you want a sustainable business. But I don't think that that's what Pokimane's going for. She's going for that hit and run, that nip slip type of uh, opportunity here. Right? And she's trying to sell them to Minas because that's, why else would you name them to Minas? <laughs> She claims she owns her own formula as she keeps fighting with people on Twitch. You probably should just ignore people because that's what the crypto scammers do. So hot chicks, instead of selling and scamming people for crypto, are now scamming people for cookies. It's a cookie conundrum. Uh, And then when we get to this, she keeps speaking out about the backlash. Yep. Some drama. And then it gets worse. Uh, let's see here. We're still going through the article. Revealed a new snack company. This is a uh, thank you to Dick Serto for uh, doing all this research for me since I you know, hired a crack research team to take care of it, but all I could get was was this, which is it's good enough for us to understand. So she claims she doesn't want to make as much money as she possibly can, you know, charging four times as much. <laughs> But she's super intentional about what she brings to the market. Hey, at least she's not selling yeast beer from her vajayjay. Uh, she's a little classier than that. Just selling the cookies. I'll take I'll take the cookies over the other stuff. But then here's where it gets a little ugly. Where she says this on her live stream and gets people a little little upset. So let's listen to this. Hold on, I gotta rewind. When people are like, oh my god, $28 for cookies? Oh, come on. Don't you dare buffer on me. Four bags. That's seven. Seven dollars a bag. I know. I know math is hard when you're an idiot. But, uh, like, if you're a broke boy, just say so. Anyway. But, uh, she's like a priest there. But I tell you, if you're a broke boy... You just don't need, you you better move on. (laughs) But let's hear her say it one more time. Math is hard when you're an idiot, but uh, like if you're a broke boy, just say so. If you're a broke boy, oh, okay. So if I don't want to shill out more money to be a subscriber of hers and more money to see like not so naughty pictures of her, because I don't think she has an only, she's too big for OnlyFans, I'm, I'm suspecting. Um, but she's, <laughs> she's smacking people around for being broke fans. People are charging, oh my God, $28 for cookies. It's four bags. I can buy the same bag for $10 and I can sprinkle some mushroom dust on it. And I'll get that. I can get more vitamin D just by, uh, standing outside probably. Cause I don't think she's giving me enough. D- if she wants some vitamin D, she knows where she can get it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> She's crumbling over the price of her cookies. What is going on here? So that's the most recent part. People are nailing this girl. And uh, you know what? Capitalism to you, my dear. If you choose, you do you. You want to sell people $28 cookies? I would just think you'd want to put something a little more special in there. You know, a little special ingredient. That's how the other girls usually do it. Bath water, yeast. Whatever you want. Mushroom dust ain't going to do it unless it's that magical mushrooms. So that's the controversy. If there's more interest in this, show me in the comments below. Just letting you guys know how it works when the 
I would just, why can't you just crypto scam us? Why not just sell crypto cookies? You know, get a bite of my crypto cookie, okay? So that's the deal. I've mastered this story. I know all. I have taught you well, my friends. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you a big fan of Pokimane? No, she's not a Pokemon. She's a Pokimane. See how she gendered that? Anyway, uh, we also have a live stream, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday nights. Come join us. It's a good time. Promise. And you can catch our podcast, which is also streamed on... It's free for you on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, even that Rumble place. Check us out. We like having you here. Thank you for watching this. I hope you learned something about cookies and the economics of cookies. <laughs> But I'm on to the next one.